Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> What's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime back once again talking this boxing shit. And you know, we gotta talk right now. You know we gotta talk about my girl, the motherfucking uh, unified world champion at 168 or at, uh, super middleweight. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still 168 for the females, but I know it's super middleweight that she um, campaigning at currently. And that's my girl Clarissa Shields. After um her dominating victory over Tory Shownuff Nelson, gotta give a um strong salute to Tory Nelson too. That, that was a hell of a fight. Uh, she came with her A game, did her thing. I actually really liked what I saw from Tory Nelson. I was very very surprised that she went the distance with the champ, man. That's a that's a hell that's a that's a hell of a feather to put in her cap, man. Because I believe that Clarissa, Clarissa Shields is going to be one of the greatest women fighters ever in history. I think um, her pedigree is going to put her when the, when it's all said and done, she's going to be on that same level as Layla Ali, same level as uh, uh, Ann Wolf, of course, um, Lucia Riker uh christy martin you know the the female the big female stars of yesteryear mia say john should be better than mia say john but mia say john was back she was cold too holly home too a lot of those ladies are really good they get overlooked in the annals of history oddly enough but um they still they were still very very uh hall of fame champions in my opinion i'm pretty sure most of them is in there if they aren't they should be it's a travesty but uh all those ladies I mentioned should be all in the Hall of Fame by now, but I expect Clarissa Shields to be right up there with them in that pantheon of great female fighters when her time is over, you know what I'm saying, or when her career is done, I should say. But as for right now, got to give got to give a strong shout-out to Tori Nelson, man. She really did the best she could, put up a, a great show of herself in this fight, and I wouldn't mind seeing her fight again, you know, for maybe one of them titles or... um. Maybe another vacant title that maybe Clarissa don't hold yet. She could probably snatch her up and get um become champion before she retires. And in my opinion, I think she could do it. She got the chin. She damn sure got the chin. She can hit. She can hit because she was stinging. She was a couple times. I mean, not really like hurting her, hurting her, but she was sting- getting her attention with a few shots. And that's more than just about every other Clarissa Shields opponent right now has ever done. So... I got to give it to her. I, I personally think if Tori Nelson got a shot at any of the other ladies, I'm pretty sure it would be. I would pick her as a favorite to win, man. She was a. I saw. She showed me a lot in that fight, man. Really, really. Had Clarissa Shields doing some things that's a little unchar- uncharacteristic at times, but it didn't even matter. You know, I felt like um, Clarissa was in charge of each and every round. I don't think it was one round I could give to Tori. But. In those rounds, Tory still made him competitive. You know what I'm saying? Very competitive, actually. You know, um, Clarissa was pushed. I don't think she was pushed to like the brink of her ability and nothing crazy like that. Like this wasn't a war, war, but this is an in the trenches fight. You know, this wasn't quite the Franchon Cruz fight. Hold on, let me rephrase that because uh, Tory Nelson, Franchon Cruz had a good showing of herself too in a very similar fashion to the way Tory Nelson did. So I gotta shout out both of those women. They really look good. Well, they didn't really look good, but um, they look good against the champ. You know what I'm saying? If I use Clarissa Shields as the measuring stick for every woman at that division, and if you're gonna use that as a very very high bar for other ladies to meet, and I feel like even if even the fighters that come up just short of that bar, I feel like they still are good enough to become world champions absent. Clarissa Shields, you know, having all the belts. And right now, I think she only got two, so it's two more floating out there. I would love to see Tori Nelson or Franchon Cruz go ahead and get another title shot from maybe one of the other title holders and um see what they could do. Maybe even get themselves a rematch. I know Tori Nelson says she's ready to let it go. You know, she really only got a few more fights left, but I really would like to see her fight again. And I would really like to see her in another world title fight. You know what I'm saying? Against somebody else. Because, honestly, if she fights Clarissa Shields again, it's going to be worse this time. Clarissa, you know, got the lay of the land, you know, measured her, if you will. And now that she has all the answers to the test, it's just going to be easier to pass. So, you know how that go. And um, what's next for Clarissa? She say, or at least in the in-ring uh, interview, she's ready to fight Christina Hammer. And Christina Hammer was out ringside, so it looks like that fight is being built. 
I think that's going to be a hell of a fight. I still got Clarissa Shields to win, dominating. But I will say this. Christina Hammer has a very nice jab. Her fundamentals are sharp. And that's going to be a hell of a fight. And um, from what I understand, Christina Hammer is actually a weight class below where Clarissa Shields is. So Clarissa Shields will have to shed off some. Uh, well, she had to take off some of the, the pounds, which means that. We don't necessarily know how her how that's going to affect her power, how it's going to affect her tank, you know what I mean, her wind and all these different things cuz when you um when you go down in weight, it's not it's not really the same. Like when you go up in weight, it, it affects you negatively as well, but not quite as much as going down. When it's, it seems like when fighters go down in weight, they do seem to lose something. Some fighters can do it and it's not a problem, you know what I mean? You got guys like Canelo who actually look better when they're smaller. So it could go either way. She could look better and really dominate Christina Hammer and really be at optimal levels. But I don't know. It's an open question. So you got to give Hammer a decent shot in that fight. But personally, I'm still picking shields. I'll eventually upload uh, within the next week or so. Or maybe, yeah, next week or so. I'll upload my official prediction. I want to watch a few more Christina Hammer fights before I do, though. You know what I'm saying? See if she got anything possibly that can, you know, trouble Clarissa. Right now, from the things that I've seen from Hammer, I've seen a couple of her most recent fights. And she looked pretty good. But I don't think she looked good enough to show me that, you know, she can handle Clarissa like that. (laughs) You know what I mean? That's going to be a hell of a, that's a hell of a task, man. It's It's a very tall order. But, uh, yeah, man, congratulations to Clarissa Shields. She's still the champion at 168 Unified. Shout out to Tori Shonuff Nelson. You made a very good, you put out a very good account of yourself, and I'd love to see you fight again. And um, salute to Christina Hammer for showing up to the fight and actually being willing to fight Clarissa Shields because the way Clarissa Shields is wiping out these girls right now, she's looking a lot like an Errol Spence, you know what I mean? A female Errol Spence of her division, you know? I could see girls being very reticent to fight her, but it's going to come to a point very soon where it's going to make you so much money to fight Clarissa Shields. Those girls are going to have to fight her whether they want to or not, you know? That's just what it is. She's already a big star in my opinion, and I feel like her star is only rising. And, you know, she's she's a historic champion you know so i mean if i'm a fighter a female fighter anywhere near her division that's who i'm training for but it is what it is man she gonna be champion in my opinion for a very long time man i'm looking forward to witnessing her reign so once again shout out to clarissa shields shout out to tori show enough nelson and if you fuck with me make sure you head over to my official site hustlegameboss.com and check out my all new album it's my turn the throne ascension lp it's a motherfucking classic but if you don't do that you know what i mean you prefer not to go to my website for whatever reason you can also check it out on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Title, shout out to Title, big shout out to Title. Um, Pandora, uh, it's even on YouTube, you know, you type it in, YouTube, whatever, my name, The Supreme General, you'll find all my shit, and um, also on my other YouTube channel, you can check out all my music videos from my, my from my most recent one, it's my turn, you know, featuring my homegirl Jai the vocalist, all the way to like the beginning of my career back when it was, you know, I was getting it out the mud, you know. <laughs> you know, my whole shit is on YouTube basically. So um if you're a fan of mine and you want to get to know me a little bit better as a musician, that's how you do it. But alright, so I'm gonna holler at you. One hundred.